Hi, and welcome to Morning Coffee with Pizan Academy. I'm Deanna, and it's Great Books Monday, but also Happy President's Day. Margaret Thatcher, the first female Prime Minister of Great Britain, once said that Europe was created by history and America was created by philosophy. This is what makes America unique. George Washington and the Founding Fathers were well versed in the writings from ancient Greece and Rome. They had read the great philosophers Plato and Aristotle and the Roman philosophers Cicero and Seneca. When they wrote the Constitution, they looked to those early sources as well as the historians that documented these once great civilizations, people like Thucydides, Diodorus Siculus, and Livy. They studied Athens and Sparta, Thebes and ancient Rome, both the Republic and the Empire, they looked at what made these civilizations great and successful, but they also looked to learn what they shouldn't repeat by seeing how they declined and what faults they had. They came up with a constitution that had checks and balances, so no one person or one body of people would wield too much power. They established the rights for citizens, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. They wanted to ensure that these liberties would be instilled in all people in this great nation, and they left a lot of the nuances of how to govern to the states. They also advocated for a separation of church and state, and this was to ensure that everybody would have religious freedom. These rights were upheld, and some of the founding fathers wanted to deal with the issue of slavery. But they knew that because they were fighting to build this nation and they needed all of the colonies to back what they were doing in this document called the Constitution, that they wouldn't be able to abolish slavery. In fact, some of the colonies even had laws against setting your slaves free. Although the framers of the Constitution had to compromise on this issue, they did provide the philosophical foundation that the later abolitionist movement would use to dismantle the system of slavery. Less than a hundred years after the Constitution was drafted, a new president, Abraham Lincoln, comes in and takes these principles that established this nation to fight the institution of slavery. Now what ensued was a very bloody and horrific civil war, but having the constitution to guide him, he was able to keep this nation together. So I invite you this President's Day to reflect on Margaret Thatcher's words that America was founded on philosophy and think what that means. In the history of civilization, America is the very first nation to be founded on these ideals and these principles rather than history or a legacy of a king or pulling people together to rule under a theocracy. The guiding principles of this nation were philosophical and that is something to cherish. But in order to understand it, we in the modern world need to go back and read these sources and really understand what the founding fathers and what the drafters of these founding documents looked to, what they decided was good and worked for these ancient civilizations, and what they needed to change in order to make a nation that would be successful and ensure freedom for its citizens. Thank you for watching, and if you're enjoying our videos, please like them, share with your friends, hit that notification bell, and have a great President's Day. We'll see you next time.